Okay, perfect. Thank you so much uh, for having me here. It's uh, always great to um, be here and also great lineup today. So all of uh, all of you guys that are in here and have decided to spend out the morning with us, you're in for a real treat. I really enjoyed Nick's presentation before. I tuned in a little bit and yeah, you know, I mean, everything that he said is, is absolutely true and everybody that is here and that is a consistent trade these are the steps that you must follow all right so pretty much we're here on the same page so today I will be talking to you about how you can generate a full-time income day trading futures two hours a day so this is just day trading futures it is not options all right so a little bit about myself thank you so much for the presentation so uh, just to reiterate some of the facts I am a professional independent trader and I am trading futures and equities I have been trading futures and equities for the last 14 years and what I do is I day trade futures for only two hours a day and for the rest of the day I swing trade stocks and once again I I'm, don't do futures I, I don't do options I'm sorry um, I have been um, in investment banking prior to becoming a professional independent trader for more than 10 years. So I do come with a financial background, uh, education wise and experience wise. I'm also the founder of CEO of TradeOutloud.com, which is a trading education firm that is specialized in educating individuals how to day trade futures and how to swing trade stocks and futures. I also run a managed accounts program and I am the designer of an institutional proprietary trading system that is based on price support and resistance, specific trigger times, specific price zones, chart synchronicity, a strict set of trading rules and a 10 point scoring system that we will be talking about the, some of the aspects of my trading system in today's presentation. If you guys want to get a hold of us, uh, remember you can visit our website. It is tradeoutloud.com. If you have any specific trading question, feel free to email us at info at tradeoutloud.com. And also uh, I encourage everyone to post their questions here in the room. And if your question for some reason when it's not answering the room, feel free to, uh, to ask any trading related question uh, to us. I'll personally make sure that I answer all of you guys in here. So um, uh, further, I, if you guys want to follow us on Twitter or Facebook or YouTube, we post a lot of materials, trading ideas, swing trade ideas, and also day trading, uh, um, day trading ideas. So you'll free to uh, hop onto Twitter or Facebook. So uh, let's uh, let's go through today's agenda and what I have planned for you for this gorgeous afternoon here. Uh, why trade futures? And here are a few aspects. A lot of traders are mostly drawn to trading options. A lot of traders are drawn to stocks. Some traders are drawn to uh, to the Forex market, but I'm going to show you the advantages of trading futures and uh, I'm going to be talking a little bit about futures, show you exactly uh, what I'm looking at and more details about how I trade it. Also, the advantages of trading futures, the best time to day trade futures, selecting the right trade. Uh, how do you select the right trade? I mean, it's not a plethora of symbols that literally you can trade when day trading futures, but still there are, there are a lot of commodities, a lot of currencies and bonds, and you also have indices. And how do you select the right trade today on any specific day? So I'm going to be introducing you to that as well. Uh, another thing is why you need to be highly educated to uh, to trade the futures market and in trading, you know, if you have a little bit of information, sometimes you can you can kind of like, uh, you know, um, um, take a day trade and kind of like more mostly in stock trading. I'm referring to stock trading or even an options trading, you can literally kind of wing it a little bit. But in futures trading, I'm going to share with you why this is a precise, precise uh, 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 science. Also, questions and answers, welcome at the end. So let's talk a little bit about why trade futures. Well, here's the thing with the stock market versus the futures market. And one of the reasons a lot of traders gravitate towards trading futures is actually the relatively low startup cost and you could see here on the right hand side about you need about five thousand uh, dollars to open a futures account 
Uh, to open a stock day trading account, you're required to have $25,000 and actually you need to have about $30,000 in your account uh, and you have to maintain at least $25,000 of it to maintain your day trading status because guess what? Guess what? If you lose a penny, then your day trading status is out the door. All you can do is swing trade. Where the futures market allows you to open a day trading account with as little as $5,000 in their broker where you can literally fund um, accounts with less than this amount. So you could do your own due diligence on that. And best of all, you don't have to maintain this amount as long as you have the sufficient cash in your account to cover the margin required to trade the commodity or the indice, you can actually have a lesser balance than 5,000 and still be able to day trade futures. So I think that's one of the reasons a lot of traders gravitate towards futures. But a lot of traders get literally wiped out because they don't know what they're doing. Futures trading is different than stock trading. And if in futures trading, futures is a really is a, is a trading environment that is governed by fast pace. I'm going to share with you some examples in this presentation. So once again, here is stocks versus futures. Well, we learned that if you want to day trade stocks, you need a pretty large account size, about $25,000 and in reality, you need more than that. I mean, this is the minimum requirement for you to be able to day trade future to day trade stocks, and you need large position moves. You need you need to make a few dollars a day, so you need a lot of stocks that are swinging and that are making a lot of move within that specific. A period of time that you decide to day trade. So you need a lot of move, a dollar, two dollars, maybe three dollars a day in order for you to make money with a small account. Needless to say that you're going to need more charts. And what do more charts imply? In a scanner, right? So you need to have a scanner. You need to invest in a scanner. And scanners don't come easy. I actually use a scanner that I absolutely love. I use it for my swing trading. But that's an additional cost. And especially for a trader that wants to get initiated into trading and would like to start generating an income as soon as possible after he or she becomes educated, you don't want to have the extra cost and to spend the extra time because it does take time for you to get used to the scanner. Uh, and obviously less focus. It is a very fast market, very fast paced market environment. You're having a lot of stocks and especially now that we have just begun earning season, you're going to see that uh, most uh, most of the stocks, especially from the sectors within uh, within the sectors that they're reporting, they're going to begin to move rather fast. So therefore, you're going to be scattered all over the place, chasing trades, looking for a trade tr in this plethora of almost four thousand liquid stocks that you can choose from to day trade. Where in the futures market, you can open an account, like I said, with as little as five thousand dollars. You have greater leverage. You need small position moves in order to generate consistent income. Uh, minimal charts, and I'm going to share with you today my trading universe, which consists in very few charts. You have more focus because you're watching less charts. You don't have to scan. Your brain is not scattered all around. So you're extremely focused on just a few charts. And in reality, I'm just focused on one or two charts. Um, you can take a short position on more easily and there's no uptick rule. And for those of you that are day traders, you know, of a stock day traders, you know what I'm talking about. And then again, you can take a short position uh, easily. Not one time I have been day trading and then I was in a rush. I was looking at the scanner. I saw a stock. I put it. I just hit the button. And guess what? I neglected to look and see if it's easy to borrow or not. And it was hard to borrow at that point. So guess what? I lost the trade. So I did the whole analysis on it. I was ready to push the button. I did all the work that implied. And then guess what? I couldn't take the stock short. Um, another thing is that you have central clearing, reliable volume data. It is great for hedging. And here's the thing. If you're an options trader, if you're a swing trader, if you're 
even uh, whatever active investor, whatever kind of trading you're doing, uh, longer term investing or medium term investing, you can literally start hedging with the futures market at a very low, low cost. And that is going to keep your account in balance. Not only that, but on specific days where you have divergence that is coming through the market, you have, you have let's say, an E-mini that it has relative strength and you have an E-mini that has relative weakness. You can hedge against those E-minis with very tight stops. The other one stops out, the other one starts running, and then you're making money on the one that starts running, but you need to know how to do it. Uh, one of the other things that I love about trading futures, it's also like trading ETFs. Okay, so you don't have earnings. You don't have earnings and this is great. Earnings do power futures and earnings are the catalyst that move the market either higher or lower. Take for instance, for example, uh, we're gonna start, we're gonna begin with earning, we, we have started earnings season, right? We had the first three banks that have reported earnings on Friday, that's JP Morgan, uh, Wells Fargo and Citibank, right? But in the next week or so, we're gonna start, or we're gonna start a full earnings season from the tech stocks. And guess what's gonna happen? We're gonna have stocks like Google, like Amazon that are gonna report earnings. These are big, big influencers within their category within NASDAQ, right? So what do you think the M&E NASDAQ is gonna start doing? Move, right? That's what it's gonna do. If you're going to have earnings, let's say in Google and Netflix or Amazon, you, it's going to be reflected in the futures market and you can benefit from it. Don't forget one other thing that is the futures market is open close to 24 hours a day is actually about 22 hours a day versus the stock market where it's open, uh, where uh, the stock market is open only from 930 uh, to uh, from, from 930 to four o'clock Eastern time. Best of all, you have better commissions. All right. So I'm going to talk at large about commissions. Like I mentioned before, no scanner, no indicator, no super indicator, guys. Guys, the only people that are making money off the indicators are the people that are selling the indicators. So price is king. You've got to know how to read price. The institutional way is knowing how to read and how to predict the market. All right. So another reason why I love trading futures, well, guess what? Lower effective income, income tax rates, simplified reporting on your tax return. Guess what? At the end of the year, you don't have to hire an accounting, an accountant that is going to charge you between 10 and $15,000 to do the taxes at the end of the year. You're just simplified reporting. Your broker is going to send you a 1099B form that you're going to put in your tax return and done. You could do it yourself plus the 60-40 rule. For those of you that are here in the United States, I'm not very familiar with the overseas, but for those of you that are here in the United States, you could browse more about this 60-40 rule, which is amazing. And once again, a full-time futures trader may have additional tax benefits with trader tax tax from the IRS. So guess what? If you invest in your trading education to become a futures trader, if you invest in a, a, in a chat room or a signal service, that's going to be tax deductible. So you can consult with your um, accountant on that as well. So fast money. This is a very fast paced environment and you can make a lot of money with small position moves, but you have to be laser focused. And we're going to talk about the technicals in a second. So a trader with good judgment can make fast money in the futures market because essentially he or she is trading with 10 times as much exposure than normal stocks. So also prices in the futures market tend to move faster than in the cash or the spot market. So here an ex here's an example that I love to give people all the time. So we're going to talk, we're going to put into balance the buying power and the move, the market move, right? So let's say, for instance, a trader wants to day trade the Qs, right? That are priced hypothetically at 141.50. So the trader needs about $5,800 to buy 100 shares. Now, if that price goes up 50 cents, you're going to profit what? $50. So you can see that with, with small size, with a small size account, let's say with a $5,800, with $5,800, you can only buy 100 shares. And if that stock goes up, if that ETF goes up 50 cents, you only make $50. You only make $50 because each cent is a dollar. 
But if the trader wants to day trade the M&E NASDAQ, which is priced, let's say, at 5,800, the trader needs about 4,200, let's say 4,200, 40, $4,300 to trade one, to buy one contract. So if the price goes up 50 points, guess what, guys? You're making $1,000 because each point is $20 in the same amount of time, in the same amount of time. So why would you spend more time in the stock market and take it from me guys for years for the last let's say 15 years i have been a stock addict i still can't navigate away from stocks because i'm swing trading them right now but i was in the market day in day out day in day out trading and day trading stocks and then about five i no, I, I think it was like seven years ago i've decided because i was trading sporadically and i was hedging with futures but i wasn't involved uh, I wasn't involved 100% in day trading futures. Um, I decided to, okay, you know what? It's time to shift. Why make my my life so hard when and there's so much more to life than just being in front of the computer, stuck, chained to your monitors, scanning for stocks, literally having an eight-hour workday where you can trade less and make more. All right, so I have two charts here in front of you. And if I was to cover, if I was to cover the price, it, the price column, and if I was to cover the symbol, you would swear it is the same chart, right? Give me a yes, guys. All right, so here we have a bottom here. You could see it. We have one, two candles pull back. We have one, two candles pull back. So if I would literally hide these symbols and the prices, you would swear it's the same chart, right? Now, there's one thing that differentiates futures and stocks. If you trade futures the same way you are used to trading stocks, classic buy, classic sell, looking for whatever you're looking in the stock market, it will fail because it trades differently and i'm going to share with you why it trades differently and why it is so important to know how to trade futures all right so from this swing low to this swing high there is a dollar and 12 cent move okay there's a dollar and 12 cent move that is if you really bought the bottom and sold the top which is impossible but just to show you the range within a day so if you would capture the bottom and the top, that would be $112, and you would use uh, you would use about 50, you would need about $5,800 in order to take this 100 shares. So you would need more than $5,000, okay? Now, if you're trading the NASDAQ, which is pretty much the same thing, right? I mean, take a look at the chart, guys. Moving averages, and by the way, I have a question in here, what moving averages I'm using. This is the 10 exponential moving average, and this is the 20 period moving average. Uh, no, uh, Rebecca, no, that's not true. Okay. You, okay. So therefore, if you're looking at the move in NASDAQ, 45 point move from the low to the high, that is $900 with one contract. So let's say you're waiting for the perfect setup. You're waiting for a perfect entry and you capture half of this move, even a quarter of this move. It's still better. You're still making more money in just a small portion of the move as if you would make it from bottom to top when trading the market, okay? It is a market that is very efficient and very fair. There is no pump and dump, no rumors, no stock manipulations, no upgrades and no downgrades. So guess what? When you come in front of the market, okay? You don't have to worry about that, okay? Futures contracts have traded in huge numbers every single day. So the constant presence of buyers, sellers in the futures market ensure market orders can be placed quickly. So the futures markets are very, very liquid. Commissions are very low. Commissions on futures trades are low and are charged when the position is closed. The total brokerage or commission is usually as low as 0.5 of the contract value. So that's very low. However, it depends on the level of service provided by the broker. An online trading commission may be as low as 10, uh, I'm sorry, as $3 per side, okay? So $3 per side, and that is with an expensive broker. I don't know if you're using TD Ameritrade, which I happen to use, by the way. Like I've mentioned before, you can take both sides of the coin. You could go long and you could go short, 
any time. You can flip, you can do whatever you want, long or short. But and Rebecca, to answer your question, okay, um, what does it get to? What does it take to get there and to have accuracy? You need to have. You need to be extremely educated in order to trade futures. Like if you can wing it in any other market and let's say hypothetically i don't think you can but let's say it's easier in the stock market stock trading the stock market is a little easier than the futures market and that's why the returns are not that big okay but you need to be highly educated you need to have a skill so it's not only that you receive the education and you think that okay right now you know i just bought a dvd i, I just studied the dvd for a couple hours and then i'm ready to go in the futures market no there's no such thing as that and first of all you can't trade you can't start to learn how to trade futures from a little dvd um so you could get you could get familiarized with what futures trading is but literally you can't take bits and pieces of the puzzle because the futures market is a huge puzzle and you need to have all the pieces you have a missing link that's gonna set uh, that's gonna set for failure so if you make money 10 times as fast without the education and the skill yeah you're gonna lose all your money super fast you need precision you need accuracy. You need a lot of discipline in doing the same thing. Once you learn what to do, to do it every day over and over again, day in, day out, you need to have a lot of patience because you need to wait for the pattern to emerge. It's not like, oh, okay, the market is open. I'm going to learn how to trade the New York open, or I'm going to learn how to trade the London open. The market is open. I'm just I must take a trade. I have to be in the trade. No, it doesn't work like that. You have to wait for the pattern to emerge. If you're anxious, it means that you lack education, you lack skill, you lack everything. The urge to get into a trade demonstrates that you're not ready for the market. And you are a liquidity provider. That's all you are and that's all you're going to be. So you need to have the patience. You need to have the knowledge and the accumulated knowledge. Knowledge comes from education, but education is not enough. Education plus skill is knowledge because you need to spend time in front of the market. A well-rounded trader is going to start making money six to eight months into the process, even a year into the process, because he or she needs to observe what the, the, the market phenomenon. The trader needs to know and um, the trader needs to learn. Um, how to react around news events, how to trade news events, or if they're going to trade the news events at all. Um, they need to know how the market reacts and uh, around option expiration because that's influencing the whole market, even if you're not trading options. Um, how, do, how do different, uh, different environments, how does summer trading, uh, how is summer trading compared to, let's say, the last quarter trading? And by the way, speaking of the last quarter, the last quarter is actually the most profitable quarter to trade. If you haven't been making money in the first, second, or the third quarter, the fourth quarter is the quarter that if you know what you're doing, you're going to make most of your money. It has been the most profitable trading quarter for me. And usually that's the time when you double, triple, even more. Okay, even more your accounts. And I have some stats here that I'm going to share with you to demonstrate you and to show you how education, skill, perseverance, precision, patience, knowledge, dedication, and confidence gets you to where you want to be in life and makes you work less and actually make more. You need to have dedication because if you're getting into trading just because you want to make an income and just because you want to make money, it's not good enough. You need to like what you're doing. If you don't like the market, you have to love the market. You have to embrace the market. You have to be on top of everything that's going on. Okay. Watch the news, watch the economic, watch the economy, see whatever's going on because don't watch just a chart, just the technical chart. You have to be one with whatever resonates, whatever is on the market, whatever economic event is happening, you have to understand it. You have to know what is going on and how did that impact the market? Because that's the only way you're going to learn. Because the next time when that event is going to happen, you know what's, what to expect, right? Confidence. Last but not least, confidence comes from education, from a, from a, from a great set of education and skill. Okay, you, you need you have confidence, you know, okay, that's my entry charts need charts will start speaking to you.
you won't be able to think anymore because trading in reality is not about thinking. And if you have someone that is going to tell you, oh, you got to think before you, uh, before you trade, no. If you have the proper education and skill, thinking is not allowed. Guess why? Because each, our brains have photographic memory. They have photographic memory, and if you learn how to trade from a good trader, from a good mentor, I do have a lot of students that are coming to me for mentoring, students that, and traders that have had a prior trading education, but they don't, they lack the skills, so they come to me for mentoring. And I walk them through the path to regain their confidence, okay? We walk through the confidence because at a subconscious level, when you educate and when you're mentored about the right entries, about the right stops, about the right system, uh, and when you see a chart with your, and you sit down with your mentor and they show you in real time market environment, this is the winning chart, okay? This is your entry, this is your stop. You take the trade together with him or her, you see that it starts working, okay? Even if it stops out, but the ne next time when it has the same setup, you take the trade and it starts working, your brain is going to memorize that setup. And every time when you're going to see that, uh, that setup happen on a chart, happen in a market, guess what? Instantly, you're going to hit the buy button or the sell button. You don't have to think. If you start overthinking, that's going to alter your position. You're going to doubt and fear is going to come to mind and you're going to start doubting yourself and doubting your entries. Okay, so are you ready to swim in shark infested waters? Because futures trading is nothing else but swimming in shark infested waters. So who are the market participants or who are your best friends or who are your enemies? So if whenever you're on the wrong side of the trade, you think that hedgers, portfolio managers, proprietary trading firms, hedge funds, market makers, algorithms, and individual investors like yourself are on the playing field, all right? So it's a matter of, am I gonna be trading with them or am I gonna be against them? This is the big puzzle, guys. Hedgers on one part, portfolio managers on the other, proprietary trading firms, hedge funds, market makers, algos, and then they're, these, this is your puzzle. This is your whole puzzle right here, right in front of you, okay? So if you think, that you can literally wing what hedgers are doing, what hedge funds are doing, what algos are doing, that's a lot, it's a losing battle. You're never gonna make it. You need to be well educated because guess what? These are gonna be your best friends. These are gonna be your best friends. You have to learn how to read their footprints and follow their footprints, especially algos. 85% of the market volume, algorithm. Algorithmic market, this is a highly algorithmic market, okay? So in order to succeed, you need to have a solid education. You need to have a well-rounded system. And it's not a system that you pick up from here and there. It's not a system that you read on the internet. You need a complete trading system that is gonna work for you. Precision. You need to be and you need to act like, out, like an algorithm. Algorithms are very successful because they know when, when they get in, they know where they, their stop is, they know where their targets are, so they have the, the, the whole entire plan programmed into them. You need to be like them. As, uh, as soon as you start understanding that you need to be like an algorithm, you're gonna start succeeding. Okay, so in order to succeed, you need solid education. Without solid education, you won't succeed at this game. You will get pieces and bits and pieces and, and so on, and you're never gonna have the whole picture, okay? So I'm gonna ask you guys, how does your trading account look like? So we're well into the first six months of the year, right? We're into six months of the year. Now, sit back and think, did I make money last month? Did I make money last month? Did I make money last quarter? How does last quarter look like in my, in my trading account, in my brokerage account? And did I make money this year? Like I said, six months have gone. We're in the, we're in the middle of July, July 15th. 
Okay, we're in the middle of July. Have you made money? Okay, now I'm gonna show you what a trading education looks like, what an account with full, with full education, a well-rounded system, and a well-defined plan looks like. We have launched January 1st because we put our money where our mouth is. So we wanna prove all the traders out there that yes, it is possible to make money with a small account. Don't tell me it's not possible to make money, to not make money with a small account. So January 1st, guess what? We have launched a 5K account challenge. 5K account challenge, okay? Have a lot of traders, have a lot of students that signed up. And here are the results, guys. I'm not gonna go line by line, but if you're interested, if you're interested, make sure that you email us and we are, we're gonna send you the full stats with all the trades, losing trades, break-even trades, um, everything, okay? So first quarter, this is what we made. Small account challenge, start with $5,000 account, $3,949 in the first quarter, in the first three months. January, February, March, we ended March with $3,000. This is not compounding, guys. So at the end of the first quarter, you would have well over $8,000. Second quarter, we started again for $5,000, right? And that's where we start each month. Second quarter, we more than doubled our account, okay? So in the first six months, in the first six months of trading, we've made $9,680.57. And guess what, guys? Best of all, these trading results are based only, are based on two hours of trading from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. Eastern time. 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. Eastern time, that's all I do right now, trade for two hours a day. So if you haven't made money this year, think about why. Why have I not been making money this year? Because if you don't have a, a well-greased trading machine, your mindset with your strategy need to be in sync. You need to have a trading universe, whether you're trading stocks or whether you're trading futures or whatever you're trading, you need to define your trading universe. What am I trading? And you need to have a set of indices and commodities that you trade. So what to trade? When to trade? Define your time. Guys, the human brain is not programmed to, uh, to be focused for more than two hours at a time. It's not. And after two hours, your brain is going to go on a commercial break. Your brain is going to go on a commercial break. So therefore, you need to focus in two hours, okay? You, your plan needs to have a defined entry, a defined place where to place the stock. You need to have a defined risk per trade. Now, I know that someone before me talked about position sizing. This is, gonna, this is the one thing that is going to make or break your account. Make it or break it. Make it or break it. You can grow your account exponentially or you can accelerate your losses and lose your account if you don't know how much to risk. And I know that a lot of traders are, and I get this question a lot. Okay, so if I have, let's say, a $25,000 account, how many contracts am I going to risk? Okay, and this is a trick question. This is a trick question. How many contracts am I going to risk? I ask this question a lot. Okay, and you're gonna see traders that say, oh, if I have a $10,000 account, I'm gonna start trading with two contracts. Wrong, wrong, you're not gonna start trading with two contracts. The only variable, the only variable in this case is the risk. The, the, the difference between your entry and your stop, that is your risk, that is your risk. And the only variable should be your position size. You should be your position size. So if you're trading, let's say, YM, which is E-mini Dow. And if you have, let's say, a 20-point stop, that is $100. And if you have, let's say, a $25,000 account, what is your, your defined risk for that specific trade should be, let's say, $400. So therefore, you can take that trade with four contracts. That's the math behind position sizing. One of the things about position sizing here is that you need to have a set amount per trade a set amount of per trade. And that should not only be limited to the number, uh, to a percentage wise of the account, because if you're a beginner trader, let's say you have a $100,000 account, and if you're a beginner trader, okay, you you, you're, you, you're not required to trade with that specific size. 
okay? You're not required to trade, let's say, with 2%, okay? You can go back to 1%, okay? Or 0.5% until you learn how to do it. But guess what? You know what the secret here is, guys? Is that you have to risk that amount on each and every single trade. Your risk per trade needs to be the same. Okay, we have a course and on position sizing that we offer with the class. Uh, but it all in all is, uh, which explains why and the mechanism behind it. So you would understand, but you need to use the same size. So if your, let's say, if your account allows you to, uh, to, uh, to position size for $500, but if you don't feel comfortable to lose, let's say $500, because that is a risk. Guess what, guys? If it's risk, that means that you're willing to give, right? So that is risk. The more you understand that that is money you're willing to risk, the better you have a better understanding about trading. So guess what? Even if your account dictates that you can potentially have a $500 risk per trade, but guess what? If you decide that you're not comfortable with that size, with that size you can go back. And you could go into, let's say, $200 or $300 until you gain more experience and know how to do it. The other thing is that you need to know how to trail the trade. Trailing the trade is an art. I say that many people have no idea how to trail the trade. I've, I have seen a lot of traders that take themselves out of trades for no apparent reason. They have no idea what, they have no idea what a reversal means. They have no idea how to trail. Trailing is the trailing and position sizing is what differentiates an experienced trader from a novice trader. Knowing where when to take profit and knowing when to quit. And having a trading plan. If you have a, the importance of having a trading plan is that and having a mentor and having a system that is taught to you is that knowledge is transferable. If I will give you the trading plan, you would need to start making money because it's transferable. I give you the know-how, you apply it on your account. That's, it's easy, it's easy math. So you need a system that will get you your favorite things in life, okay? Whether it is working less or spending more time with your family, no commute, pay off your debt, whatever it is, okay? You gotta start working smart and not hard. These are some of the trades that are we trade, and I, I never brag about my trades. And usually, I post very small size trades, um, as you can see. And um, we don't wait. So when we enter, I really don't know where to. Uh, okay, get a mouse. I, I, I guess you can see my. Uh, you can see my mouse. Okay, you can type a yes if you can see my mouse. All right, so we don't wait, and this chart is here to show you that we don't wait for a general buy setup in order to take trades. We take trades at specific times and at specific price areas, okay? So we don't wait. These are the areas where algos are likely to trigger, where institutional traders are looking to buy or sell or to set targets. So this is the reason why this is an institutional method. It, it is designed for the retail trader because we're not trading here with hundreds and thousands of, uh, of uh, millions of dollars, okay? So one of the things is that we have precise strategies that we use. We, we wait patiently for the trades. You could see it right here. We have precise price points. We don't wait for a specific breakout. We do teach breakouts. We do teach breakdowns. We do teach teach all the strategies. However, we look at specific price areas where institutional buyers are likely to get in. These are some examples of our trades. You could see that we're not waiting for sales. We're not, we're not getting the tops. We're not getting the, the very um, bottom of the cone. So these are some examples of our strategy at work. And these are real trades that are taken in the program with our students. Um, so NQ, you could see it here. We shorted it at 5680, right? 5680. We didn't wait for a complete sell setup, technical setup, right? Uh, this was our stop right here at 85. So we had a five point stop. You could see that the targets are well posted before the trade triggers. And just a quick note, uh, we analyze the market guys and we have precise times and this is one of the times when it triggered right here and it was one of our trigger times so 
this trade was posted well five to seven minutes before it happened. So you can see that we know how to do the homework, entry, stop, target, and we let it run, okay? So this trade, 30 points to the downside. If you have traded this, if you have taken this trade with a small account, with a $5,000 account, you could see $100, uh, $100 risk will bring you $600 on this trade alone in the first two hours of trading, okay? We teach an institutional trading system that is designed for the retail trader. We teach precision of execution. It's, 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 it's like brain surgery. And trading is, trading futures is brain surgery. You need the entry, the stop, the target, strain management, risk management, position sizing, and psychology, everything to be in sync. And we have a plan for every, for every aspect and situation in the market and leave nothing to chance. We also teach how to trade the open and be done for the day in two hours or less, whether it's the London Open or the New York Open. We also teach how to trade the Asian session. We teach advanced technical analysis to identify the seven layers of support resistance, four precise price points, and guys, you can look for this on the internet as much as you want. Not unless you are an institutional trader or you have been an institutional trader or you're mentored by an institutional trader, you have no idea what the price points are. And these are gonna help you spot the inflow of large institutional money. How to perform the market analysis using day trading and analytical time frame. We teach precise triggers for explosive moves. Reversal times that will tell you when it is time to start trailing out of trades. We teach which time frame to use to increase profits depending on the time of the day. Yep, because we, let's say in the morning, you're going to use one time frame from 9.30 to 10 o'clock, from 10 o'clock to 11 o'clock, you're going to use a different time frame and so on and so forth. How to identify max odds patterns, three trailing methods, and we also teach day trading strategies for scalping and trading. So you will be empowered. This system is giving you power. So you're going to ask, why, why do I need an institutional method? Well, guess what? The sharks are the ones that are lurking in the oceans. They're the institutional traders, right? You need to trade with the sharks in order to make money. So think about that this time. Come Monday, when you are going to be in the market, think about that it's lunchtime in the futures market. And would you rather die or be served as the main course? Okay. When to trade? Have a few more minutes. The sweet spot. If you're a, uh, if you're a New York trader from 9 to 11 a.m., if you're a London trader from 3 to 5, if you're an Asian trader from 10 to 1, that's the sweet spot. So here's the difference. We talked about the difference between the stock market and the futures market. And within the futures market, you can take advantage of everything that is going on in the overnight markets and multi-political events. Don't wait for the market to open. And many markets that affect the U.S. market trade outside of the U.S. hours. So guess what? If you're a stock trader, you're awake, you're waking up and you're going to see, oh my God, the market is higher. The market gapped up. Now what? So if you want to make money every day, think about this. There's no such thing as um, a winner, 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 okay? In, in trading, it's all about averaging. You have big wins, small wins, break-evens, and small losses, okay? And when it comes to trading, you got to be super focused. I trade six charts, as you can see here. I trade three in, in, in indices, gold, oil, and bonds. And these are some other trades trade ideas that so I'm happy to share with you these trades, um, you know, some other time, or if you send me an email, I'll share with you the trades. But guys, if you're, day, if you're day trading stocks and not thinking about trading futures, contact me now. I really want to talk to you about it. So if you want to get started, we have a power workout for your brain. It is a system that is literally going to transform your trading. You could talk. I can give you the phone numbers to some of our traders. You can talk to them. And we will teach you strategies of precise times, areas, prices, et cetera, on what to trade. We give you the exact know-how. We transfer everything that we do. So if you want to become a professional futures day trader, you can talk to us. You can. Um, you, we actually have an upcoming class that is July 24th to 28th. It's actually next, the following week. Uh, from 5 p.m. to 8 p.m., and we have Trading Lab that puts everything together from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. Eastern Time, and uh, we offer you five months of trading with me, and basically 
all you need to do is take my trades. That's all you need to do. Follow me. You can learn from my trades. So if you're interested in signing up, you can shoot me an email. We can schedule a phone consultation to discuss about more about the class, obviously, because we didn't have enough time. We can talk more about the class, class curriculum. I'll send you all the information and let's talk about your trading goals. So if you're interested, uh, shoot me an email and thank you so much. I think my time is up. I do have uh, um, some few questions here. But guys, feel free to email me, info at Trade Out Loud, and I'm more than happy to answer your questions. Thank you.